too real for TV exclusive. 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 Hey, this is Michael Moroy, and you're watching Too Real for TV. Thank you for tuning in. Just when I thought I've heard it all, something else hits me. Breaking news. In 2011, I don't know if you've seen Cross Country Pippin' Volume 5, I covered a story on a gentleman by the name of Raymond Sharp. Raymond Sharp uh, was a pimp that was convicted of pimping charges amongst other charges, living off the earnings of a prostitute, you know, human trafficking, blah, blah, blah. You know how they trump up all the charges on you. But he was, he was convicted of all these charges and sentenced to three life sentences. Now, when I heard this, this just really threw me off. I'm like, three life sentences? How do you get three life sentences? But it gets worse. Raymond Sharp also, when he was convicted for three life sentences, he was also denied an appeal. They denied him an appeal. I didn't even know that this was illegal. I didn't even know this was legal. I didn't know you could legally deny someone an appeal once you give them a certain amount of time. I thought he at least had an opportunity to go back, appeal, and possibly get out, get some time back, so on and so forth. But they denied an appeal. Now, he was arrested in July, two, July of 2011. Let's fast forward a little bit. He gets denied the appeal. He gets the three life sentences. It gets worse. His lady, Alicia Grundy, is the first woman in history, at least in Nevada history for sure, to sue, successfully sue her pimp and win money while he's doing life in prison. So all of the money, the property and things that was seized from Raymond Sharp which was like three properties, some money, and so on and so forth. I don't know the exact details of it, but it totaled up to a, a total of like $4.1 million worth. She won that. Her attorney, Conrad Claus, he won her all of this, uh, these things back in court. Now, here's my thing. She's on the news talking about, yeah, you know, he thought I made 700 when I really made 7000 Basically kind of bragging, taking shots at the guy. Now, listen, I don't know Raymond Sharp. I don't know Alicia Grundy. They, they might be, you know, good people or whatever the case may be. I have no idea. But here's my thing. You're talking about you was a sex slave for 17 years. 17 years you were a sex slave. Come on, man. Nobody is under... Seven, come on, 17 years. You mean to tell me I, 17 years? Now, this is to me is crazy that the the powers that be will believe this young lady was a sex slave for 17 years and, and joined forces with her to get this man money and lock him up for three life sentences. That's just unbelievable to me. But anytime I try to make a news report, I try to give you some news you can use and not just tell you the problem, but give you the solution. So I'm gonna give you the solution for this type of stuff so you know. Um, the solution is, there is no solution. They have, autom they have well taken their side that they want pimping to be, they want the game of human trafficking to be as far away from pimps. They want it out of control of black men as, as far as possible. Case in point, the California Senate on Tuesday passed legislation that would remove mandatory jail sentences for repeat prostitution offenders. Under the current state law, a second conviction guaranteed at least 45 days in jail, which increases to a minimum of 90 days in jail after a third offense. Okay, because of this new law that they just passed, they are totally erasing that. There is no more mandatory sentencing mandatory jail time for prostitutes so what's happening is we're getting closer to the legalization of prostitution but the punishment for pimping is getting more severe so if you think about it if a woman goes out has sex with a man that's absolutely no problem with that whatever she can have sex with as many men for free as much as she want with no problem if she goes out and gets money from a man that she has sex for then all of a sudden that becomes a misdemeanor. Now, if she goes out and make, has money with sex for a man with money, take that same money and give it to another man, her boyfriend, baby daddy, whatever you want to call him, you know what I mean? All of a sudden that money becomes a felony because that guy is considered a pimp. That makes no sense to me. How is the guy a felony but the woman is a, is a misdemeanor? 
and she's the one that's going to get the money. So the situation with Raymond Sharp, you guys take $4.1 million in money and award it to this woman. Now, the money was got garnered the exact same way with her and with him in this illegal activity of this illegal business. Now, I'm not saying that the woman shouldn't get any type of money. If she helped work for that money, yeah, sure, she should get some money. Fine. But why should this man get three life sentences? You take all of his money away that could be used for his defense in court. For a woman who's been with him for 17 years, there's no way possible you can make me believe. No one in the world should believe that a woman was with a guy for 17 years as just a slave like she didn't want to be there come on man that's like the one yet one young lady that was in there with the uh, vampire pimp uh, i can't think of his name right now but she's on the video getting uh, red bottoms and gucci shoes and she's talking about she was just acting yeah right acting but yet she was with this guy for years come on man let me if let me see if anybody is with anybody for over 30 days, you know what this guy is. Especially if you're a prostitute. You walk outside every day to go to work. You can easily go someplace else. You could easily go do this. You can go stop a police officer, a fireman, anything. So it's just crazy, man. Maybe maybe it's me. Maybe I'm tripping. Michael Moroy, Two Real for TV news you could use. Why don't y'all leave a comment in the box below? I, I reply to all comments. Please let me know what you think. Am I tripping? 17 years you with a guy you making money and all of a sudden you were a slave and you need to be compensated for the time that you were a slave and you don't want him on the streets you want him to have three life sentences should this man really get three life sentences yes he was an ex-felon yes he was a firearm he had firearms and yes he did all this maybe he was a bad guy i don't know still even with all that said and done he does not deserve three life sentences and his appeal taken away from him Come on, man. It's a target out for black men on anything. Whether it's selling dope, whether it's pimping, whatever. Any crime that any black man does or is more familiar with on black men doing it, they will make the punishment that much more severe. You've been warned. Two River TV. Like, comment, share, and please subscribe to the channel. Too real for TV.com.